In this video, we're just going to do some examples of 3x3 three three matrices that I claim correspond to rotations of three-dimensional space. Um, and then we're going to try and figure out a general way of figuring out when you're handed such a matrix, what is the axis of the rotation and what is the angle by which we're rotating. So first example, uh, this is a rotation matrix in 3D, an example of a rotation matrix in 3D. So it's cos theta minus sine theta 0, sine theta cos theta 0, 0, 0, 1. And you can imagine what this is doing. Um, you can kind of break this up into blocks. So there's a 2 by 2 block up here, this cos theta minus sine theta sine theta cos theta, which is rotating the xy plane. And there's this one down here, which is just saying that the z-axis is fixed. Let's see if we if we multiply this matrix into um, a vector. x, y, z, we're going to get cos theta x minus sine theta y, uh, x sine theta plus y cos theta, and then z. So you can see height is fixed and the x and y directions get rotated. There's our coordinate axes. Uh, they end up pointing in these directions. Right, the z axis fixed, the x axis gets rotated, and so does the y axis by an angle theta. So the key thing to note here is that the axis of the rotation is is fixed. In the sense that if you pick a vector pointing just in the z direction, so 0, 0, 1 for example, and you apply this matrix A to it, you just get the same thing back, 0, 0, 1. So it's a fixed vector. So remember, we talked a lot about examples of 2x2 two two matrices, and fixed vectors were kind of important for some of them. So they're also important here to understand which vector is the axis, or which vectors live on the axis. Let's do another example. Let's take a matrix B, um, which is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, uh, minus 1, 0, 0. So I claim this is a 3x3 three three rotation matrix, and we can try and find the axis of uh, rotation by solving the equation b u equals u, where u is uh, x, y, z. In other words, if we have a vector x, y, z on the axis of rotation, it's going to satisfy b u equals u. Uh, well, let's write it out. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 0 times x, y, z equals z, y, minus x, and this is supposed to be equal to u, which is x, y, z. So that now becomes three equations, one for each of the components. The first is x equals z, 
second is y equals y, well that's not much of an equation. We can just ignore that one basically. And the third is minus x equals z. So this is equivalent to saying uh, x equals z equals zero. Right, because x can't be both z and minus z unless they're both zero. But y is free. So in other words, the axis consists of all vectors of the form 0, y, 0, so that's the y-axis. So this is a rotation about the y-axis. Let's figure out what the angle is. Well, in our previous example, uh, the angle uh, we obtain, as you can see from the picture, by taking a plane orthogonal to the axis, so the xy plane, remember orthogonal means perpendicular to, and taking a vector inside that plane, rotating it, and measuring the angle between them. So let's pick a vector v, which is orthogonal to our axis u um, and rotate it and see what the angle is between v and a uh, and bv so uh, something orthogonal to this we could take v to be 1 0 0 I'm gonna have to get a new page um, so now the angle between V and BV is if well let's call it theta um, then we have that V dot BV is length of V length of BV times cos theta okay so let's compute BV V is 1, 0, 0, so BV will just be the first column of B. Remember, if you apply a, vec uh, a matrix to 1, 0, 0, you just get the first column of the matrix. So that is 0, 0, minus 1, because B is this matrix here. So V dot BV is 1, 0, 0, dot 0, 0, minus 1 and that's zero. So this tells us that theta, so cos, it tells us cos theta is zero because both the vectors have non-zero length so this says they're at right angles to one another. So it's a rotation by, well either pi over two or uh, 3 pi over 2 so you'd have to think a bit harder if you wanted to figure out which of those angles it was but in this case we can we can draw a picture so here are our three uh, coordinate axes x y and z um, b sends this vector in the x-axis to uh, 0, 0, minus 1, which points down. Uh, it sends the y-axis to itself, so this is uh, fixed. And the z-axis, let's go back and have a look z-axis should go to this direction, the third column of B, 1, 0, 0, that's the x-axis. So the z-axis ends up pointing in this direction. So we can see it's a 90 degree rotation like this. About the y-axis. I just want to do one more example uh, which is a bit more interesting. 
the axis is not just going to be a coordinate axis. Let's take C should be the matrix 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. And again, let's look for the axis. I claim this is a rotation matrix, so it will have an axis. If I just give you a random matrix, it's not guaranteed to have any fixed vectors at all. Um, but I'm giving you ones that I know are rotations. Uh, so let's say the axis is U. Then uh, um, U is a solution of CU equals U. Uh, so U is X, Y, Z. So again, let's try solving this equation. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 times x, y, z equals x, y, z. That's what we have to solve. If we multiply out this matrix into this vector, we get z, x, y. So our three equations become x equals z, y equals x, and z equals y. Well, the first equation is telling us x is z, the second is telling us y is x, so all three numbers x, y, and z have to be equal, which means this third equation is kind of redundant. So x, y, z is just x, x, x. In other words, the axis points in the direction 1, 1, 1. Some, it's some multiple of that, that vector. And let's figure out the angle. So as before, we're going to pick a V orthogonal to u. For example, uh, let's think. So I want something whose dot product with this is 0. So I could take 1, minus 1, 0. Because then 1 times 1, minus 1 times 1, plus 0 times 1 is 0. And compute uh, v dot c v well c v is 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 times 1 minus 1 0 that's 0 1 minus 1 so v dot c v is 1 minus 1 0 dot 0 1 minus 1 which is minus 1 just from this entry here Whew, okay so I'm going quite quickly through this example if you're not following pause and rewind as much as you like that's the advantage of virtual me over real life me uh, what is the length of V? It's square root of 1 plus 1, so square root of 2. And the length of CV is also square root of 2. So what we get is V dot CV is minus 1, and this is supposed to be equal to square root 2 times square root 2 times cos of the angle between them, which is the thing we're after. Root 2 times root 2 is 2, so cos of the angle is minus a half. Whew, okay. So what is the angle? It's something like 2 pi over 3. As always, there are several values it could take, but we'll see in this example it's, it's 2 pi over 3. That's because this is one of the possible values of arc cos minus a half. So let's see what's going on in this example. 
Um, so here are our three basis vectors pointing in the axes. Um, so what is the matrix C doing? So C is this matrix here, remember? It sends the first basis vector in the x direction to 0, 1, 0, that is the y direction. It sends the second basis vector pointing in the y direction to 0, 0, 1, that points in the z direction. And it sends the z axis, which is 0, 0, 1, to 1, 0, 0. If you don't remember this trick, that you can read off um, where the basis vectors go just from the columns of the matrix. It was in an earlier video, one very early, maybe one or two. Okay, so we can see in this picture what the rotation is. It is exactly a 2 pi over 3 rotation about the axis that's very, very difficult to draw in this picture uh, because it kind of comes straight out of the page at you. This is the one, one, one direction. Okay, so that I'm trying to draw it a slight tilt so you can imagine what's going on whilst maintaining as much symmetry as I can. So this is rotating about the vector that's really sticking out of the screen at you. And it's rotating by 2 pi over 3, which for those who prefer angles this is 120 degrees. Okay so if somebody hands you a matrix and tells you it's a 3D rotation matrix you can always find the axis of rotation by solving this equation matrix times u equals u and you can always find the angle of rotation by picking a vector orthogonal to the axis, rotating it using the, the matrix, and then using dot products to compute the angle. Okay, in the next video we're going to be talking about simultaneous equations, a bit of a change of pace.